Hello everyone, welcome to Larafant. I'm your host, William Juma. In this episode, I want us to talk about how to encrypt the Laravel environment file and then share it on version control. So inside our Laravel application, when we check the directories, we have a file that is called .env. If I open it, this file is a file that contains very sensitive information, very sensitive configuration values about our Laravel application. Sometimes when we are working in an application, several people, maybe in a team, you may want each and every person to be exposed to the same uh, environment variables because maybe those variables are still the ones that you are going to use in production eventually. When you push the files of your pro pro project to version control, we usually have a file called gitignore. And in gitignore, we have uh, several um, values, in this case, files that we usually are listed here, which will be ignored. They will not be uploaded to version control. So in this case, we have env, we have .env backup, and we have .env production. So these files. But if we want to, to push to version control and have the keys, the sensitive keys being safe, we can be able to encrypt those keys such that even if somebody comes into contact with them, they cannot be able to do anything with those keys. They cannot be able to read that file. And any time we are required to come back and use this uh, uh, file, we can be able to decrypt decrypt it and be able to go ahead and use it. So let us go ahead and see how we can be able to do that. For us to be able to encrypt our ENV, we can run an art artisan command php artisan env env and then full colon encrypt. And that command will do the trick for us. Of course, sometimes you may want to attach a key. So in this case, you can say dash dash and then key, and then you can put in your key here. So if your cipher requires 32 characters, you will put a key, a key that is 32 characters and so on and so forth. You can also decide if you have several environment files, you can be able to choose which one you want to encrypt. So in this case, you can put the flag hyphen hyphen and you can say maybe I want to encrypt the staging ENV or something of that sort. But let us just go ahead and run the command as I typed initially and see what happens. So how you type and hit enter. And now, as you can see on this other side, we have .env.encrypted. So this is our encrypted file. And even if I try to open it, now you can see it looks very nice. And you cannot be able to know what it is that it contained initially. So if I'm pushing this project to GitHub, of course, the env is in gitignore. It will not be pushed. And then all the other files, including this env.encrypted, will be pushed to GitHub or maybe GitLab or, or, or Git Bucket, whatever it is that source version control that you're using. But this file will be in existence, but you must ensure that this cipher, the key that you have here, the key that you have here, you must store it safely and securely because it is that which will be able to be used to decrypt and be able to give you your ENV file back. So let us look at the original ENV, what it had. So it looked like this. This was um, the, the app key, and then every other thing looked like this. It's just the default look. Now, if I delete this, because now if you, if you download, or in this case, you you clone the project from version control, that file will not be there because it was not uploaded initially. So then we can decrypt this encrypted file and then be able to obtain our initial env. And what we do, we just run the command php artisan env decrypt and then we will pass in the flag, the key, and we say we, we put in the key that we had stored securely so we can say this was our key and if you don't have the key then you will lose 
the contents of that environment file because you will not be able to decrypt it. So if I hit enter, now you can see it's decrypted. And again, everything exactly the way it was in our initial file. So this is how you can be able to protect your environment file even when you push it to version control. I hope this video has been useful to you and helpful to you. Thank you very much for following this video tutorial up until this point. I ask that you may subscribe if you haven't. If you like the video, you can give it a like or a thumbs up. And if you have a comment or a contribution, you can share in the comment section down below. Thank you very much.